All right, so the Bitcoin dominance is looking very, very strong right now. Uh, we've been talking about this for the past week or two, but I personally think that the Bitcoin dominance is about to have a massive run. I think altcoins are going to capitulate against their Bitcoin pairs. And I want to talk about when the last time we saw a move like this was on the Bitcoin dominance. So let's jump right into the video today. First things first, if you've never heard of the Bitcoin dominance before, it is simply the market cap percent that Bitcoin takes up. So you've got the total crypto market cap, right? This is this crypto chart right here. You can see 1.26 trillion. And what the Bitcoin dominance is, is it's the percent of that market cap that Bitcoin takes up. So you can currently see this sitting at 45%. That means that out of the entire crypto market, 45% of that market is just in Bitcoin. And what do you notice over the years? You can see these huge times where you have these huge, huge swings to the downside. Then we have these big, big moves up, a little bit of chop action all the way back down. What we're actually looking at is how the Bitcoin dominance performed over the 2018 bear market and how it performed coming into this bull run. Let's jump right into this video. So what I wanna highlight is Previously, when we were coming into the bear market of 2018, we were forming this uh, this little pattern here, whether you want to call it uh, a, a channel, an ascending wedge, an asymmetrical triangle, um, or even potentially a, a bear flag, because you can see if you draw it like this, you've clearly, you're clearly in some type of a bear flag, bearish pennant type pattern. Uh, nonetheless, we were forming this pattern and we're forming something very, very similar right now where you've got this huge, huge pole carrying us down into the pattern. I mean, it's almost perfect uh, to what we saw right here, to be honest. And these are very, very similar. You can see once you started pushing above these EMA ribbons, you know, you, you kind of lollygagged for a little bit, uh, especially coming into the bear market, but we Bitcoin dominance went up. It went all the way from 35.5% all the way up to 73.5%. What does this mean? The percent of the market cap that was taken up by purely Bitcoin increased by almost 108%. And during that time, I, I was here in the 2018 bear market and the altcoins got absolutely slaughtered against bitcoin apart from Chainlink, which did really well in the bear market i can't i think of a single crypto that you know outperformed bitcoin so basically this was you know the, the the bull run that we saw we were running into this bull run and why the bitcoin dominance went down is because originally we had all these great you know blue chip cryptos quote unquote blue chip cryptos don't know uh, i'm just using that as an example i don't know how much i'd agree with that um but nonetheless all of these new cryptos came in all these new shit cranes all these new meme cranes all these new uh securities uh pri privacy cranes all of this new wave of crypto came into the market and because of that a lot of investors flocked over to altcoins during this stage here this was actually the bear market this is where we were breaking into a bear market and what do you notice after we enter a bear market because this was round about these stages uh, down in these levels where we were in a bear market well what you actually notice is investor sentiment changes. And instead of, you know, flocking into altcoins like they did here, they did the opposite. Everyone left altcoins. The altcoin market cap got diminished as Bitcoin went all the way up 107% and topped out all the way here. So you can see we had a run to the downside where Bitcoin took up less of the crypto market cap because more money was flowing into altcoins. And at that moment, altcoins were king coming into the bear market. The bear market hits. Altcoins got slaughtered against their Bitcoin pairs. The Bitcoin dominance moves up. And even though the market cap goes down, the Bitcoin dominance moves up and that means that altcoins underperformed against Bitcoin on average. What happened coming into this bull run? Well, once again, investor sentiment changed. You've got move to earn coins now. You've got NFTs. You've got a plethora of new shit coins. It's not just XRP. We've got new shit coins. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, once again, market sentiment was exactly the same. New coins fled into the market. Investors got bored of Bitcoin. They wanted more asymmetrical returns to the upside. And everyone jumped into altcoins during this period. And what has been going on for the past year or so? 
I don't think I need to tell you, Bitcoin has been very, very boring. It's been very, very bearish. We've been very choppy and more or less, we've been accumulating within huge, huge ranges, but pretty much we're at the price levels that we were at, you know, coming on for a year and a half to two years ago. We have not done an awful lot of anything. If you just left the market like a year and a half ago, and then you you know, you know checked on your Coinbase account, you checked on your ledger, clicked on the value of your Bitcoin, you might be thinking, do I need to refresh my wallet? Why is it the same price as two years ago? But it, it has just been because we've been moving boring and sideways. Uh, but now the Bitcoin dominance is once again moving up. It looks like it's done with its dormancy. And once again, just like we saw here where we kind of zigzagged back to the upside, I'm already seeing signs of something like this that could be playing out. I'm personally going to be targeting, I think 70%, you know, once again up here would be a little bit too high. I think it's more likely to predict something like a 65% or a 60% uh, allocation of the total crypto market cap in Bitcoin, mainly because there's more altcoins around. More people are willing to hold all uh, Cardano. People are more willing to hold move to earns. People want to hold on to their Solana. They want to hold their crypto.com. So they're willing to hold on to more altcoins as there's more of them in the markets. That's fine. That probably means the Bitcoin dominance isn't going to run up as fast as it did before. But if I am right, and you know, like I've been saying, I think we are going to move up to 65%, this could mean the Bitcoin dominance, once again, the percent of the market cap taken up by Bitcoin could move up another 44%. If that happens, that that is that is crazy that could mean a lot of altcoins could get absolutely decimated against bitcoin so i thought i'd just share this video uh, it seems fairly obvious based on a lot of charts that i'm looking at at this moment in time the altcoins are pretty bearish the uh, total uh, the total crypto market cap too uh, ticker symbol total two if you're typing it into trading view is the altcoin market cap and you can see this has been very very lackluster uh this is pretty much a lot more bearish than the Bitcoin chart in my opinion. Uh, we're really just capitulating pretty hard and with the Bitcoin dominance breaking out in my opinion it is not going to be altcoin season and I think we're entering into Bitcoin season. That is my take on what's going on. I think it's pretty crystal, crystal clear what could be going on. We could be setting up for a huge rejection coming back down altcoin season but I think with everything going on in the world, the dollar looking extremely strong, the stock market super weak, crazy geopolitical news that I don't want to get into on this channel, but there's a lot of stuff going on. Fed increasing the interest rates. I mean, I could go on and on and on. We are not seeing, in my opinion, the perfect environment for a Bitcoin bull run. I think we're seeing the perfect uh, environment for a mini recession, maybe even a recession, maybe just a couple of years where uh, all the investors need to have some of their gains wiped out. Uh, there's too much, you know, artificial money in this economy at this moment in time. When the Federal Reserve sits there printing money for years and years and years, just non-stop printing money, a lot of that money makes its way into the altcoin market. And now I want to, I want you to imagine that money being water. Like imagine you're, you're, you're some guy who just drunk a huge, huge, uh, le you drink normally 500 milliliters of water a day. Uh, but today, you know, you've been given two liters of water and you're going to down that water. If you step into a sauna, you're, you're going to sweat out a lot of that water. And that's kind of the analogy that I'm getting at with the Fed. The Fed has been printing tons of money. Our pockets have been stuffed with money while they've been uh, print, printing and increasing the amount of money in the economy. Now that they're kind of turning up the heat on the sauna as to say, which is uh, an analogy for them increasing the interest rates to make the money in our pockets start to burn away. What that means is that that sweating is going to come if you want to call it sweating if you want to call it the bleeding out of the altcoins that is what i kind of look at this market right now i think a lot of money entered this market from artificially low interest rates even negative interest rates you know there's there's some you know billionaires out there like michael saylor that were able to borrow debt based on like 50 basis points like some of them even borrowed debt on no basis points so so much, so much free money came into this market, and I think we need to bleed out some of that money, come back up, get a higher Bitcoin dominance. Remember that Bitcoin is king. All of these altcoins are nothing compared to Bitcoin. Uh, so 
I went off on a tangent there, but I think it's very important to know that I don't think we have the type of market scenario for an altcoin rally. I think it's way more likely that we are about to experience a bleed out for the altcoins while the Bitcoin dominance goes up. Hope you found this video valuable. As always, cowboy out. Peace.